Well, well Chris, here's something cool I picked up from an op shop for 20 bucks. Um, op shop being an opportunity shop, which is pretty much the same as a thrift shop in the USA. So it's an old Konica camera. Um, I had a look online, apparently this model ran from 1965 to 1969. So it's a Konica Auto S2 film camera. Pretty cool, I've wanted an old camera for a while. I had another one there, I can't remember what brand it was though, but this was definitely the better of the two. Complete with a carry case. Um, I'm not sure if these were related or not, but a Goodman Brothers camera store receipt. Doesn't have a specific year unfortunately, just July 14. So it was in Sydney. I can't really read any of that. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's got the leather carry case. It's pretty heavy. Uh, I don't know an awful lot about cameras. So correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, but um, it's got the viewing lens there. You find on the other side. It's got the little knob for um, rewinding the tape of um, 30, 35mm film. A mount for a flash there and it's got the little jack you plug for flash into down there. Um, this is for the zoom, I believe. It's got various settings on the lens. It takes a battery there, I think that was 1.35 volts or something. I can't remember if I've already said it, but there's an auto automatic light sensor there. Various bits here, including a timer, which you turn on by that, and then you can set the time for however long. Wind it up. It's still jamming a little, but better than it was before. Um, little window there, I guess that shows you how many photos you've taken. But I have no idea, but you can also see that up up the top in the viewing window. It's that little yellow bar just up the top, not very well focused. My camera doesn't really like this, but yeah, um, that, so it shows the same display. It's also got a lens or something for parallax error. And to open up the film thing, you lift up that knob. It springs open. So. I think it's hard doing this single handed. But yeah, it's got a range of settings on the lens. You can adjust the exposure time. So I've got I've just set it for a long exposure there. That outer knob, the inner knobs, something called ISO, I think. I don't know. It's got a copal mechanism for the lens or something. So yeah, anyways, just thought that was a really cool item. It's Really heavy, well built. So, yeah, I'll probably set this up on my display shelf. So, anyways, there it is. So, cheers, Chris.